Hey folks, I want to show you how to build a racing rig in less than 10 minutes and in under $5. Let's go! So you probably have something like this. You have a console and you have your racing wheel and pedals and you have your gaming chair. And in this case we have the G920 with the amazing uh, set of pedals which, which have fantastic feel and in particular especially the brake which is a little bit uh, hard so you get the proper brake feel when you brake extremely but the thing is that when you press it, press it hard it actually slides so that's a problem Another problem is the chair. The chair is very convenient for all sorts of games, but it has wheels. So when you press the brake hard, your chair rolls and slides. A solution to that is of course the racing rig, where you have a hard connection between the chair and the pedals. Even the very basic racing rig will cost you no less than $200 and a really good one will take you back 400 or more. So is it possible to achieve the same effect in less than five and in less than 10 minutes? Let's find out. So how to achieve this with that? The pedals are designed to be mounted on a rig and they have these convenient mounts here and here and here so what if we connect the pedals through the mounts to the chair the simplest way to tie something to something else is to use a rope so let's take a rope in this case I used a rope which I got from the supermarket for about two or three dollars what is important about it is that it has metal inside so that it doesn't extend when pulled and it's quite strong. I mount it here at the mount points in the pedals. And I just make sure that it is with the length that is convenient for me when I'm driving. I put the pedals where I want them to be and just move the chair towards them to a distance where the whole setting will be convenient. And then just cut a rope that is twice the length. So now I have the chair and the pedals tied together. Let's see if it works. Okay, so far so good. Let's see, can I press the brake? Woohoo! Can I press the gas? Pedal to the metal. Nice, and nothing moves. One more hint. Pay attention to the rubber fittings here. They protect your floor from scratches. One more advantage of this compared to the racing rig, once you're done with racing, you just push everything aside and you can use your chair and your console for whatever else you want. Play it race, let's go! See if it works. The first hard breaking point is right after the start finish tray. Approaching, approaching. Break, 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 break. Woohoo! Is it working? I think so. Woohoo! Break, 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 break. Oh, now I can do some really hard tracing. So there you go. It works. So there you go. A racing rig in less than 10 minutes build time 
in less than five dollars cost enjoy